I'm back sooner than you actually think, and I actually do apologize for that. With that being said, let's get into July's update. For those of you who know me, what's up? If this is your first time checking out this vlog, what's going on? My name is Sly Williams. I'm an air director on the east end of Pittsburgh. I've been here for about three years with my smoking hot wife, Amy, and now my son, Phoenix. I also have a son in California named Brayden. And the family's here. We're hanging out. We're all over the place. You primarily will see me doing ministry at Tiller Older Dice, but I'm also, I know kids at Obama. I might even be hanging out with kids at SciTech. All depends on the day. Now, the reason why I do these vlogs is so you guys get the opportunity to see what I get to do and experience almost every day in each month. And so it varies. Sometimes I'm meeting up with kids more. Sometimes I'm meeting new donors. Sometimes you got some type of event going on. It, it's all over the place, but it's all great and it's all to glorify God. Um, now, in the first video I just showed you apologizing and censor saying that I'm back sooner than I expected is because I gave you guys May and June's update in the middle of July and so I'm trying to get back on track so this is me doing that now although I don't have a million things that I want to show the things I'm going to show you are absolutely amazing so let's get into it now okay. here we go made it Wild Ridge Adventures oh oh. begin oh boy Dude, you know it that was just a little tease of what I got the opportunity to do with not only myself, but my leaders, George and Spencer. We got to take a bunch of guys down to Wild Ridge, West Virginia for a long weekend. And we had a phenomenal time. Um, before I get into anything else, just go ahead and check out a little bit more, some of the videos, some of the pictures that we got the opportunity to experience while we were down there. Bro. That's that, smart. That's right. That's what I said. Yeah, I, I, I like that mindset. Yeah. That's spicy. Oh, y'all trying to ruin my steak. Say, homie. What did you say I was? Cut. Rubbed, whatever. If I'm that? Do you, you care about that? Oh, 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 he's out on you. Ooh. Oh, that's a touchdown. No, he's not. That's out. I think you. Here we go, about to get some kayaking in, about to see what's going on on here. Oh, stay tuned. Oh, oh. yeah, you almost killed him. So as you can see, we did, you know, we played football. We had the volleyball net up. We got to meet some guys from New York, which you probably didn't see in the videos. Um, there was campfires, but we also got to go kayaking. We went whitewater rafting. It was a great time. And overall, the biggest takeaway, I would say a word that came to me that as I left out of Wild Ridge with those guys was unguarded. As soon as they got down there, kids were just unguarded. They kind of let everything out in a, in a really great way, in a really positive way. They they um, didn't have any safeguards up with the kids that they were meeting to the conversation that we were partaking in. And so the the lay of the, the talks that we had, we had some really great heartfelt conversations. And we talked about creation and their purpose in life. We talked about what does it entail to be a man? And overall, what is our, our, our final night? What does it look like for us to bring back these conversations and what we experienced down here in West Virginia and apply that to us or apply what we've learned and what we've gathered and experienced back in Pittsburgh. And so it was so great to, one, just get to know those guys more. There's some guys I just met, you know, at track season or during track season. And there's some guys I've known since I've been here almost three years. And so it was kind of this opportunity to see that culture once again, as I, I talk about in a lot of my other videos, um, it was an opportunity for me to just get to know kids more and also really know my leaders and give things to them to relate things to them and trust them and give them roles and responsibilities as well, where it wasn't just a slideshow but they got the opportunity to see and more touching points. The kids got the opportunity to see that they are loved, that they matter. Um, what I say towards the end of this video is that they have meaning, value, purpose. And I, I really think they grabbed hold of that and they're, it's starting to click a little bit more. And so I'm really excited for what the rest of the summer is gonna look like um, before school starts and especially as school starts back up, how we can um, set them up hopefully to a point where they would um, be confident enough to want to invite others in and not be hoarders of this good news um, but they can they will be like I said moved to tell others about that so it was a great time we had so much fun 
No one, but we almost did die on the whitewater raft. Not gonna hold you, it was absolutely crazy. We were class five, not having any experience doing whitewater rafting beforehand, but the kids had such a great time. They were very trusting of each other and we listened to our guide and it worked out, but we really did have a phenomenal time. And I'm so thankful for um, not only my leaders, but really the kids, like they t continue to take these chances with us. Um, not really knowing us and just saying like, hey, you know what, let's go for it, like why not? And I think out of it, they're really benefiting um, as they as they get ready, not only for school, but as they prepare for just life and knowing that they have people that care about them and that their trajectory, hopefully for life and life will be changed um, for the better. Okay, I'm going to just let's get into the next thing. Let's see if we have a compliment, $25, bro. Hit the music. Let's see if he can make more music on. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. He got one. Okay, one more, baby. All right, turn the music off. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You got $25 after the game, bro. Good shot, bro. Hey, you're doing under pressure. You're doing under pressure. So I was told initially, uh, hey Sly, you know, we got this basketball tournament going on down in Hazelwood. You know, it's a five on five, Werner gets $700. I said, that's great, count me in, I'm there, I'm your cheerleader. You want Gatorades, I got you. I get down there and come to find out they made me their coach. I don't play basketball like that. You wanna run, you wanna go biking, you know, you wanna go for a long walk or hiking, I'm your guy. When it comes to basketball, I'm just trying to be a cheerleader. But it was great that they, you know, saw something in me. But overall, they just know that I love them and I'm going to cheer them on and, and respect them and also hopefully give them some wisdom if I can. So it was a lot of fun to just be down there. And this has been going on for weeks. So even as you see this, I'll still be going to games um, into August. So you might see some, some more updates as far as like who actually won. But it was great. It was a mix of kids that I've known from Taylor Older Dice to new kids that I'm meeting that will be going into Taylor Older Dice or even going into other schools in the city. So I think this is just a great way to not only uh, cheer on and encourage and support kids that I know, but also meet new kids and also adults. I've been meeting a bunch of adults um, in the community of Hazelwood that um, I would have never actually met if I just kind of stayed at Taylor Older Dice or stayed on the school property. So that's been really helpful as well. Um, cheer for the green team. That's what we're calling ourselves. I mean, it's actually the color of total dice. What a coincidence, but they've been crushing it so far. And this, you know, this video that's out, the, the latest update is they've won three games. They lost one. And I think even when they lost the one, it was because they just were kind of feeling themselves and they didn't apply themselves the way they should have. And so I think them taking that loss, they realized what they have to do to get better and to get, get at it. So be wishing them the best. All right, that's that's really all I have as far as updates. Like I said, I wanted to just get back on track. Like I said, August update is going to be probably wild. It'll be um, you know videos and, and and updates of like stuff that we've done um, in August. And so I'm not going to give any of that away. And as we prepare for the school season, which is weeks away, it's wild. You know, it's it's absolutely crazy that the summer is almost coming to an end. But I would be remiss if I didn't um, give you guys some prayer requests. Um, for myself and for the area and overall just be praying for our area um, just sustainability that we as leaders myself Becca Spencer George um, Sarah um, that we that we're just equipped that we be willing um, to just trust in the Lord and know that he's going to direct us and guide us exactly where we need to be and just continue to be consistent with kids uh, it's nothing that we're really doing that's so impressive is that we just show up and that we would be committed that we would be love letters to these guys um, these kids that we get to meet um, that we'd be love letters of the word um, and just realizing and remembering what God did for us is seriously what we want to do for them and that's just sharing our lives with them so be praying for the leaders pray for our area um, we have a uh, a fundraiser coming up. It's, I'll be considering calling it Brew Night, but it's going to be um, a guy on my committee. He's amazing. He owns a brewery, and so he's. Uh, we're going to utilize that. We'll have some, you know, some some hard drinks. You know, nothing too crazy. You know, just some tastings, but also we'll have some Haitian food there, or maybe another food truck. We're not sure yet. You know, we're still figuring out those details. There'll be music there, but overall, it's a great way to just meet new people 
um, expand our network and cast vision for what we're doing in the East End of Pittsburgh. So if you want to know more information about that, once again, my information is below and you can be praying for my family as well, just that we keep our eyes on the Lord, that we keep our eyes um, focused on what the end goal is and not getting caught up in comparing or the right now, but getting just keeping our eyes um, on what the Lord has for us. So it's easier said than done. And so we need people in our corner um, that support us, that will be praying for us, whether you live in Pittsburgh or you live um, in Lithuania, that you guys are just praying for us because we need it. We can't do this by ourselves. We don't want to do this by ourselves. Pray for the committee too. They are so amazing. Seriously, since being here, I've never felt alone. My wife and I have never felt alone. And so I'm so thankful for their, their support, their care, their gentleness, their generosity, um, their resources. Um, they are just so, so amazing and I love them so much. So thank you so much, committee. If you are seeing this, I'm talking to you, Joe Carroll, Joe Hines, English Webb, Sam McLeosa, Chuck Gerby, Joe Hogan, Tom Hammond. I love you guys so much. Okay, I can go on tangents. I'm trying to get better at bringing it in. If you haven't heard it from anyone else, hear it from me. I seriously mean this. You have meaning, you have value, you have purpose. Go out there and live in your purpose. All right, be mindful of that. I got to go. I know you got things to do as well. Peace.